Many of you are on probably different levels of marketing. So in the beginning, what we're going to talk about is the website, and it's, um, it's the foundation of your marketing. So what we want to do is see here. Which way? Uh, arrow. So we want to talk about the four level, uh, four ways to level up your marketing in 2019. And the first thing we want to talk about is your website. And the six essentials of your Hale Business website must have. How many people in here at Show of Hands have a website now? All right. Getting and, better. Last year, I don't think there were that many hands out. And out of you guys, how many of you guys built it yourself? And how many people in here have maybe paid 2,500 bucks or more to, to build a website with them? Okay. All right, great. So we have different levels of websites, different levels of people that either have one or don't have one. Um, so let's just get into the six essentials of building a website. So the first one is professional and um, current appearance. It's very important that your site has a, a nice professional look. Nowadays, people are looking at it on both desktop and on mobile devices, and so you want to make sure your site is very responsive. Um, you also don't want your site to look like it was built in 1995 and uh, it just gives it a bad look for you. Um, and the only thing that's worse than looking like it was built in 1995 is not having a website at all. So make sure you guys have a website. It's very important these days. It's almost like not having a business license anymore. You want to make sure you actually have a site. Um, the next thing is having an outdated website. It just makes it look like you don't know what you're doing and you're not really in business. So those are just a couple of things of why you want to have a nice professional looking website. The next one is make sure you have pictures of you and your staff on the website. People are going on there to learn more about you. So these are going to be obvious six essentials, but I want to, because we're all on different levels, I want to make sure we cover all of the most basic foundational things. Uh, people want to know who they're dealing with. I mean, it's pretty obvious. They, they're getting on your website to learn more about you, so they want to know it's more personal. People work with people that they know, like, and trust. And yeah, so, so on our website, we have my mug on the front page. People walk in the shop and then they go, oh, hey, yep, you're the guy on the website. Cool. It immediately disarms them. And they already start to know that I can trust you. Yeah. <laughs> Number three is the contact page. Now, obviously, people want to come to your site also to get a hold of you. So you want to have your name, address, and phone number on there. If you have business hours, you want to be able to put those on there as well. Um, that's one of the first things that's been on live for. So make sure that's also present. Number four is the menu of your services in this, and products. It's actually services in this case for you. Uh, you just, again, they're going on there to find out more about you and what you offer. And this is an opportunity for you guys to educate your customers on what it is that you do and how you can actually help them. Um, I think you leave a lot of, if you don't have a website, you're leaving a lot of opportunities on the table by not having a place to capture their, your leads and uh, be able to reach back out to them and, and get them going. So, number five is a link to your Facebook page. Um, if you don't have a Facebook page, you might want to get one of those going as well. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in a little bit. Um, but you want, people are doing the research nowadays. Um, it shows, market research is showing that most people are not just going to a website, they actually look and search for you on Facebook. And so it's important that you put some sort of link on your face, on your website to your Facebook page and any other social media uh, outlets that you're using, channels that you're using. And then number six is a call to action. So you want to make sure you have a very easy to find call to action. As you can see in this diagram here, I have one uh, shown at the top. And you want that to be accessible from every page because at the end of the day, you really want them to contact you and that's what they are looking to do. So you want to remind them how they can do that easily without having to look for it too much. And so, um, just so you guys know, we actually developed a technology that we call Auto Care Pro Sites. And we meet in the middle of what we just talked about. And I asked them, how, a show of hands, how many of you guys actually have a website, how many built yourself, and how many paid a lot of money for it. We found that there's somewhere in the middle there should be an answer, and so we've answered or we've answered that. And we created a, um, a template system that there's a couple of guys in here that actually are on our platform. Okay. Here's one here, and you have a couple back there. And so the, the idea here is to be able to give you guys a professional quality website for a fraction of the cost. You don't have to pay $2,500 to, to have one built. So if you guys are interested, you can learn more about it. We'll have our booth back there. So I'll let uh, Gene take it from here for the next couple. Perfect. So, to touch on the Facebook page, I still see so many people on Facebook 
that it's like Dent Guy Ryan is your Facebook name and you're promoting your business on there. It's a big no-no on Facebook and when you get caught, they shut it down and everything's erased. A Facebook business page is free and go get it, right? Another one thing to think about with Facebook, when we were growing up, you'd come downstairs and what were your parents doing? Sitting down, having a cup of coffee, reading the newspaper, right? Facebook is the new newspaper, right? You get up, you have your coffee, you check in with Facebook to see what's going on. It's also the yellow pages now too. You have to have it and you have to be there. It's time to stop selling and start educating your customers. Especially when it comes to hail, you're asking somebody to trust you with a multi-thousand dollar purchase immediately. Yeah, we'll fix your car, right? That wham, bam, thank you, ma'am approach is not gonna work anymore. You have two options. And I don't think Andrew's in here, but yesterday, Andrew hit it perfect. You can race everybody to the bottom, right? That's the, the go-to now. Well, we'll take 250 off. Well, if he's gonna take 250, I'll give you 500 off. And then a thousand, and who wants a free iPad with your hail repair? Right, that's crazy. Or you can take an educational approach. To go back to that, Jordan spoke about this yesterday. It should raise a red flag when somebody says, hey, you've got $3,500 worth of damage on your car but we can take a thousand bucks off for you. Just think about that for a second. That should scare the hell out of the person having their car fixed, right? The insurance company says it's 3,500. The dent guy said it was 3,500. And then magically this thousand dollars disappears. That instantly gives the appearance that you're trying to rip somebody off or you just don't know what the hell you're doing, right? Take a minute and educate me. Back to that, hey, give me five grand and we'll fix your car. That's nuts. Oh, and then what are you gonna do? You're gonna hit my car with a hammer and you're gonna take the headliner down? I, I don't, my dad told me, if you take a car apart, it never goes back together the same, right? How many, who, who hears that when you're talking to customers, right? So, take an educational approach. How can you do that? You can create some free reports. Ray was up here yesterday. What'd you say? 40% of the cars aren't gonna get fixed, right? So we created a report. It's the five dirty secrets. Your insurance company doesn't want you to know about hail damage. If you gotta get your car fixed, do you want the free iPad? Or do you wanna know what you need to know about your insurance company? Make a video. We created a video showing that today's cars are precision vehicles. When you take a headliner down, it either goes back together perfect, and we showed how close it is. You got a sixteenth of an inch, and it puts people at ease. They don't know. A normal thing to hit a car with a hammer for us scares the hell out of people. I've had customers, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? And then I got to stop and I show them that it's a special part of plastic and it's polished and this is a mirror finished hammer. They don't know. If you can take time and create these things to hold your client's hand. You're the expert. You don't have to give anything away because they want the car fixed right. Creating the stuff online will make those people walk into your store, your tent, and say, oh, hey, Ryan, I saw your video about what I need to do to make this insurance claim. You're my guy. It's instant credibility, and it's not difficult to do. What do you do after you educate the customer, right? Because they're going to stop in and you may or may not close them. They may not have seen their insurance agent yet, but you gave them your guide on what to do to prepare for an estimate. And then they're gone. Let's say this storm, it's, the average ticket is 3785 bucks. You guys need to know when that customer walks in the door, that's the dollar sign over their head. And when they walk out the door, if you don't have a way to follow up, you're letting a three thousand dollars walk out the door. The competitor B, um, competitor A was getting a click-through rate, a higher click-through rate than competitor B, and it's 
it's better actually. I shouldn't even start this one because I knew the diagram to show it to you. But basically, it, if if you're getting more results than the other guy, even though that just the other guy's willing to spend more money, there the way the math works out, they actually make more money on the person that has more clicks. Um, so they're going to put the guy that gets more clicks and that's doing their ads correctly than the guy that's just is willing, willing to spend the money because they're not getting enough clicks to make it worthwhile for them. So it just all adds up. So you can actually not only get you in the front of your competitors uh, by doing it right, but you can also save money by doing it right as well. So, um, but if you follow the six steps that way, just went over, you'll, you'll get ad success. You'll see success in your ads. And let's see here. Last, the last secret there is placing placements where they're supposed to be placed. Wait, we are. So let's recap the floor. Go ahead. So, so to go over everything. The six essentials your website has to have. One, get the website, make sure it's modern, or anything like that, but make sure your website is doing what it's supposed to do. It is your virtual storefront, and people go there. Stop selling and raising everybody to the bottom. It takes some time to educate your customers. It goes a long way. When, when somebody walks through your door and they say, hey Joanna, I saw that dent that Ryan fixed, I want just like I know you can take care of it. And it happens. We know why the new algorithms suck. And there was your overview on everything you need to know for just selling. Yeah, yeah, right. There's a lot more. Well, right. <laughs> so before we move forward, does anybody have any questions about marketing? Uh, Eric? How do you know what the algorithms are? Just read nerd articles and see what's working, or if you want to know if an algorithm really affected you. So you've got a, the first big algorithm that got me, uh, I think was in 13, they came out with, it was a Google algorithm that if you didn't have a mobile responsive site, they slapped you. So I went from number one to page two or three, which we all know doesn't actually exist in Google. The phone call volume went to zero. Like it was, what is it, panic? Like what, what the heck just happened? an algorithm change. If you see a, a change like that, something, go look at your technology and make sure that you're still where you need to be. Rob? Yeah, one of the, on Facebook, one of the algorithm, algorithms that really hurts you if, you if you're doing YouTube videos and post a YouTube video, it's going down because, yeah. because they're- That's yeah, a, So they're if you can't hear it, the, the, uh, the algorithm change that Rob's talking about here, you used to be able to share your Facebook videos, or YouTube videos on Facebook, and they would play. Facebook decided to get in the video game, and they don't own YouTube. So now when you share your YouTube video, they make it look like a blog post, and sometimes there's a picture, sometimes there isn't. It's no good. They want you uploading your videos to Facebook, which is fine, it's easy enough to do. Right, exactly, that's right, do them both. And another thing with Facebook advertising, they have a relevance score, so you can actually see how relevant your ad is with your offer, so they, they get that too. Okay. I cannot. Can you? Yeah, yeah. Geofencing. Um, that's basically targeting people within a certain radius of an address that you put. So you can geofence your competitor's address, and then if someone is in that area and they're on their Facebook or whatever, they're going to see your ad. Oh, you were. They. So you're probably your setting there is. Say you're in Pittsburgh. I just I had the exact same problem. So his problem was he did a local 20 mile uh, 20 mile service radius, but he's getting calls from all over the country. When you pick your area, there's one checkbox that says and people who are interested in this. So if they like the Pittsburgh Penguins, Google's showing them my ad for Pittsburgh. It's just a checkbox. Just learned that last week. Uh, yeah, how are we doing on time? Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go over it. So uh, we've all been victim of clickbait on YouTube. It doesn't work on Facebook because you said click worthy. Yeah. Is it okay if there's some sort of clickbait stuff on there? Um, as, long as long as it's relevant to your offer. Yeah. Yeah. As long as so what he's talking about, if you don't know what clickbait is, you might be on YouTube and there's a picture of a girl in a bikini. And you click that and it goes into like Tony selling you mail services. It's clickbait, it's irrelevant. It's horrible, a horrible business practice. 
right? Because it's, it is irrelevant. Attention worthy is better than yeah. clickbait. Right, right. right. But right. something that's just like click worthy, just something that's kind of just super out there, just right up front in your face, and it makes you stop. Exactly. It makes you interested, and then you keep going. Okay. Yep. One and up. Yeah. Exactly. You only have the first five seconds you want to capture, capture their attention, especially in a video you want to capture right away. So. And then I don't know if most of you know, but um, Facebook ads, if you're doing an image and you want to put content on there, they have actual strict rules of how much content you can put within your image. Text. Um, yeah, yeah, text. Yeah, sorry, text. So. Yeah. Other, I saw another one over here. Are you all familiar with social shop? Is that something that y'all are experiencing? I'm not familiar with social shop. Not. Is it just service? It's basically what you pay, it's called social shop, and you pay them, and they give you a thousand. Engagement in itself is not um, what you want to pay for. So there's different ways, like I didn't even get into it, but there's when you run an ad, you can do different types of targeting. And um, one of them is like to get likes and engagement and so forth. And that's I wouldn't recommend that just because that's not what's going to put money in your pocket. Right. Likes, likes don't equal dollars ever. And so a lot of social media managers will try to sell you on, oh, but look at this engagement. We have 10,000 engagements. All that means is it showed up in a feed 10,000 times. There's no measurable anything there. You need clear calls to actions and offers to right. pull them in. We're in business to make money, not to make likes. So I would focus on that. You can pay for that on Fiverr. I don't know if you're familiar with Fiverr.com. You can go on there and pay five bucks and get 1,000, 10,000 people to like your Instagram, Facebook, whatever. But it's all well, it's based on. Social proof it might help in that sense, so that the other people that come on and say, "Wow, these guys are legit." Um, but when it comes to retargeting or when it comes to advertising to that group, you're, it's, it's, it's muddying the waters for you. So you don't know what kind of actual results you're getting or not because you're speaking to a crowd that audience that doesn't really like you. There are some though. I have looked. There's actually some that you do uh, target interaction for uh, certain hashtags. So you can actually yeah, you have them go after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Another thing is people will see through that, right? If you have three posts and ten thousand followers, like it instantly makes actually makes you look bad. It makes you look less credible. So, and I'm gonna pick on this side of the room. Somebody give me a question. You guys are sleeping. <laughs> you mentioned that uh, organic search isn't nearly as important as it used to be, if I understood you correctly. But isn't that the same thing that we're going to get in the back half on search? That helps, right? And you might be able to speak more to the SEO. So that will help you get into the three pack. But the actual, so it used to be the number one organic listing on Google, that was the unicorn, right? That was, if you had that for any relevant search term, that was gold. They have now pushed that so far down that it doesn't matter. Yeah, and I wouldn't say that it's not important. I would just say that they just changed the game that it's just more difficult. Um, so there's other ways to spend your time and money to, to get better results than to focus on that. It's very, very difficult to rank on the first page unless you're doing geo-targeted, um, <clears throat> looking for geo-targeted keywords. If you're just going for broad-based keywords, geo-targeted is like adding um, like hail repair in such and such city, that kind of thing. Um, and, but broad just saying hail repair is going to be a very difficult game to play, especially now. And even add that, to get into that map pack, just having a great uh, optimize. So the map pack is the top three results they show you in the map. So you guys know what I'm talking about. You actually need, back to content is king, you need a lot of relevant local geo-targeted content to make it into that map pack. So the easiest way to start with video, right here, right? This we can, this technology today, think of, think this is crazy. With like three clicks of a button, we can have a live HD video broadcast to the world. Are you kidding me? But this? We've actually found you get better results with authentic videos, something that doesn't look very polished, and then do it with the polished videos. It's kind of 
of weird because you think the more money you spend on the more the better success you're gonna have with it, but it's not necessarily the case. You'll see a lot of um, influencers, they're just doing this, walking around and stuff, because they get a lot of um, results from those more than Facebook Live. Facebook Live is great, yep. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so if you want to see what to do with video, Jack, Sioux Falls Dent Repair right here, just go look him up on YouTube. He's got it down, right? It's Sweet. How to do raw, great video, right there. Green screens now. Yeah. Absolutely. So we have a question over here. Oh, this guy? I have one, but it might be swayed in a little bit different direction. I always get, and I'm sure we all do, the, the calls from this is so and so. Google marketing, that kind of thing. Yeah, I always ask them, how did you get my number? Well, I got it on the internet. So it's a, I say, well, apparently I'm working and doing something right. <laughs> right? Is there any of the validity to any of that kind of thing? I, I think it's mostly just junk and a waste of my time. But. So Google won't call you. Exactly. They will email you. So if you've got an AdWords account, you should all have an AdWords That's account. That's just spending a lot of money in AdWords, they won't call you. Yeah, right? Well, I guess, yeah. But, None of us are going to be spending the money to get the call from Google, but you'll get an email from your ad rep. But when a company calls and says, your Google listing isn't right and we need to help you with Google, run. Just turn around and run. It's, it's, no, it's no good. How can you get rid of those calls? <laughs> There's lots. <laughs> is there, is there a thing that, if I'm not to remove my IKF, so I think you're saying, because you're not hanging up on that, I just, I, So that's not really that's a, a tactic. Google thing. That's a yeah. You can't. So you can't put your. You don't want to put your business line, but especially since they're spoofing cell phone numbers, you you just gotta answer the phone. As long as you're online, they're gonna get a hold of you. They're scraping tools out there that we use to access, you know, our target audiences. So it's you're always gonna have that problem. Yeah. So how can there is a, a national do not call registry? I don't know how good that works. That's the only thing. So we know it's early. To, to yeah, I have a question. So what do you think about, um, and this is just experimentation on, on my end, but uh, what do you think about general branding in any market or doing the six second YouTube bumper ads? I've been running some because it's literally one cent. It's super cheap, per right? View. Um, so I love so YouTube bumper ads. That's the ad you can skip in five seconds. Right now, bumper ad is a, can't skip. Okay. It's, it only lasts you know, six seconds. Oh, okay. So it's a non-skippable ad. So, but but it has to be less than six seconds. Right. So I think you're better off to do the in-stream, the skippable ad. And here's why. There's two little secrets that they don't want you to know about those five second ads. If they watch less than 30 seconds or half of your video. It's like if you have a 30 second video. Is that hard? Question? Your last slide Oh, this? Yeah. Okay, so this, um, we have a slide for it, but basically Gene and I put together an offer so that um, we have Guides so I so back to the Google content is king and creating educational wow. videos. Uh, I put a guide together for you on how to create your five your top five question and answer posts, and that's so one of them is Chicago laminated glass. If you're selling a door day, customers are gonna look at you like you have three foreheads and eight on like you mean it's, it's glass. You have glass in my door. This video answers that question, and then my sales manager has it in the cell phone, right? Hey, Rob, look, just, you know what? I'll text you a video that's gonna walk you right through it. I put the top five that we use together, give you some video examples and all your talking points on how to create them. It's, it's really super simple. And then, like I said, this has 30 actionable worksheets that we have with video. The videos are still being developed now, but it's gonna have videos that go with each one and we'll show you how to you know, answer these questions so you're making sure you're putting your apps together right now. We're off making this off for 47 bucks. So you can visit it's hailready.com or on the PR Marketing Minute handout, just scan the QR code. That'll actually bounce you through to it as well.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the back of that NPR market break. Yep. Yeah. I'll take you right to it. And we are also, right, this was, it's so hard to give a talk like this. There's so, we could sit down and talk for a day about any of these subjects. We are also putting together a webinar training series. So for the next three weeks, we're going to do a live hour, hour and a half training session. Oh, I think we're coming back on the Yeah, so that's what that's what you get for 47, and then so our webinar. Okay. Yep. For the next three weeks, we're doing a live training, so it's online based. You can do it. You can get the Zoom app actually on your phone. Do it from anywhere. We're going to walk you through basically these four steps, but in depth and yeah. working on your company. We're going to get into the automation side, and I don't want to use lingo that if you guys are not familiar with it, but. Automation, marketing automation is like setting up email campaigns that are tied to your advertising. So when someone comes there, you don't actually have to sit there and take calls all the time. Unless that's part of your campaign, you want to get phone calls. But you can send them through a whole automation of emails. Um, there's just so many different things, so many elements besides just running a Facebook ad or running SEO or building a website. That's But we're going to take you through all of those things and uh, have live questions and answers throughout the process so that you can get up and running as quickly as possible. Yeah, so it's like a three-week quick start, and then from there we're going to do a 90-day walk you through the rest of it in a uh, private Facebook group. We'll do some additional live trainings in there, and anybody who signs up will also have uh, access to us. If Crystal, you're working on your email campaign and you don't remember what button to click, call or text one of us, and we're going to walk you through it. And that's just $4.97. For the first 20 people who sign up, you get a choice. You can do an hour consultation with me, included there when we can strategize about anything in your business and I think Jack would attest to how valuable an hour consultation can be or Michael's pro sites is normally a $500 setup fee he's gonna go ahead and waive that so you get yourself a brand new website with nothing out of pocket for the website 67 bucks a month and you're in the level so you're getting a $2,500 website easily it's easily $2,500 website for 67 bucks a month no setup fees the first 20 people that sign up but even if you were to sign up uh, we actually have um, postcards at our table that says 50 percent off your setup so if even if you don't jump on this offer you want to get us to do your website we can do it for 250 setup and 67 bucks a month it's a real it's a real bargain if you go take a look at everything that we have and so listen when i saw this guy posting about i think you even came out of like i think you have a 57 dollar option i did <laughs> 57 bucks for a website it was so far off my radar that it didn't even matter. And then Ryan Hampton shared him in the uh, 300 group. And in my book, if Ryan Hampton says you're good, you're good. So I'm like, well, let me reach out and talk to this guy. And then seeing these websites, these are actual WordPress real deal websites. There's nothing fake about them. It's not a Wix site that might or might not rank well. These are, these are the real deal. I was, I was blown away. For 67, like I said, you're not spending 2,500 plus hosting every month and maintenance and all that stuff. We manage all the maintenance as far as um, the security, and we also host for that same price. We keep building new features into it. We're working on one that's um, it's an estimator app that we built for it, so that way you can take pictures of your customers can take pictures of their damage and automatically have it submitted through the, through the website. So there's just a lot of things that we're continuing to grow, and that price is not going to go up anymore for you guys to jump on board now. So we're going to into that. Um, and also, there is one thing that we are working on together. Um, the automation series that we're talking about is going to be done through the websites. We'll, we'll be able to do it through the website. That'll be an extra charge for that one because it's a lot. It's pretty it's intense. Work, but, yeah. yeah. So that's it. Thank you all, and make sure you come see us over in the uh, Rotunda room.